Hi, welcome to this webinar. Today I will show you how to set up an Elastina ICFD simulation using the new Solution Explorer in LS Prepost. My name is Erik Svenning. I am working at Dynamo Nordic. And if you have any questions or comments, you are welcome to contact me at erik.svenning at dynamore.se. So uh, today we will set up a fluid flow simulation using the ICFD solver in Alestina and uh, we will use the new Solution Explorer graphical user interface in LS Prepost to achieve this. And uh, this is uh, somewhat uh, easier and perhaps a bit more intuitive to set up the simulation in this way compared to if you do the conventional keyword based setup. And uh, just a brief outline of what I would like to show you today. Uh, first, I will just uh, give a very brief introduction to the ICFD solver in Alestina. Uh, then I will say a few words about the Solution Explorer in LS Prepost. After that, we will look at uh, how to set up a very, very simple simulation example of just uh, flow through a pipe. I will show a little bit about uh, the post-processing and then summarize what we have gone through today. The ICFD solver is an implicit solver for incompressible fluids and it is recommended to use either version 9.2 or 10.1. Uh, the solver is based on the finite element method and both 2D and 3D calculations are supported. Uh, there is an automatic volume mesh generator included in the solver and uh, coupled simulations are supported both fluid structure interaction and uh, conjugate heat transfer. Uh, there is also support for non-Newtonian fluids, different turbulence models and porous media models. Uh, free surface flows can be modeled by the level set methods and a steady state solver is now available from version 10. So as I mentioned before, the solution explorer in LS Prepost is an alternative to the conventional keyword based setup. And I should also mention that in this tutorial, I'm using LS Prepost version 4.5. And the solution explorer is located to the left in the LS Prepost window. And if it is not uh, visible when you start LS Prepost, you can activate it by clicking View and then activating Solution Explorer like this. And uh, when the Solution Explorer is active, you can create a new simulation by right clicking in the Solution Explorer and then in our case choosing ICFD Solution. We consider the classical problem of a fluid flowing through a cylindrical pipe and the pipe has a length of five centimeters, diameter of one centimeter. <clears throat> at the inlet we prescribe a velocity of 0.1 meter per second, whereas at the outlet we prescribe a zero pressure. For the pipe wall we have no slip condition and the fluid flowing through the pipe is water with a density of 1000 kilograms per cubic meter and a viscosity of 1 millipascal second. Uh, this gives us a Reynolds number of 1000 and uh, the task in this tutorial is to compute the velocity and pressure fields of the fluid in the pipe. And uh, for the geometry we will assign PID1 to the inlet, PID2 to the outlet whereas uh, the pipe wall will be PID3. So to create the geometry, we start a new LS Prepost session and then we first click on solid and then click cylinder. Since we are using SI units, then we will enter 0 0.005 for the radius. You can leave the starting position at zero and position we enter 0 0.05 then we click apply and close so now we have a cylinder 
where the cylinder surface is one single surface. To avoid uh, risk of problems during the meshing, we will split the cylinder surface in two. So then we go to surface, then we click on split surface, or break surface I should say. Then for new parameters we enter 0 0.5, the V parameters you can just clear them, then click on this edge of the cylinder, then apply and close. So now we have the geometry of our cylindrical pipe. The next step is to create uh, the surface mesh for the geometry. Uh, the volume mesh will be generated automatically by the solver, so here we only need to create uh, the surface mesh. And uh, to do that, click on uh, Element and Mesh and then select the auto measure. Make sure that uh, mesh mode size is selected and uh, change the mesh type to triangle. For the element size we can leave it to uh, one millimeter and uh, then select connect boundary nodes, uh, unselect mesh by G part and then first uh, pick the inlet face, which is this one, click on Mesh, and if it looks good then click Accept. Next we will pick the outlet face, which is on the opposite side, so this one, change the part ID to 2, click Mesh, and Accept. Finally pick the pipe wall faces, change the part ID to 3, click Mesh and Accept, then Done. So now we have the surface mesh of the pipe. Before the mesh is ready to use, we also need to check that there are no duplicate nodes. So to do that, click on Element Tools and then click Duplicate Nodes. If we now click uh, Show Duplicate Nodes, we will see just a few duplicates here uh, between the different faces. So we then click Merge Duplicate Nodes, Accept, and Done. And uh, to improve the clarity, we will also change the names of the different parts to inlet, outlet and wall. So if we expand the feature tree here to the FEM parts, we have shell 1, 2 and 3. So if we start with shell 1, this is the inlet. So we right click and rename it to inlet. The second one is the outlet. So we rename that one as well. And uh, finally, the third one is the pipe wall. So we rename this one to wall. Now the mesh is ready, so we can save the mesh as uh, mesh fluid, for instance. And uh, then the next step uh, is to convert the mesh uh, to the ICFD format, which means that we just need to change the names of a few keywords. And uh, here we can do this uh, manually. So just just open the mesh file and then change element shell to mesh surface element, change element beam to mesh surface element, change node to mesh surface node and change part to ICFD part title and when this has been done uh, the mesh is ready and we can proceed by setting up the CFD solution using the solution explorer in LS prepost. 
So now it is time for the simulation setup. So open a new LS prepost window and make sure that the solution explorer is visible. If not, you activate it under view and solution explorer. So in the solution explorer, right click on application and ICFT solution. Then under model, right click on parts and choose import from keyword file. Then we get a window where we can pick the mesh fluid file that we created previously. So we open this one and uh, the mesh that we have created should now be visible in the LS prepost window. The next step is to define the material properties for the fluid and to do that we right click on materials and choose create material and uh, then if you click on the material we just created uh, we can set the density and viscosity down here so first since we consider water we set the density to 1000 and we set the viscosity to 0 0.001 Now we also need to create uh, boundary conditions. So start by right clicking on inlet and choose inflow. Then we can set value type to velocity and then we specify the velocity to 0 0.1 meter per second. Next right click on the outlet and choose outflow and here zero pressure outlet is default so we don't need to change anything there then if we continue with the wall if we right click and choose wall we will get get a no slip condition on on that part and uh, if we continue and look at mesh here we have the possibility to set uh, different options for the automatic volume measure but uh, for this tutorial we, we will leave this as uh, default to set uh, the output options we now click on output and uh, we first change the message level msgl to full output copied to message file uh, this will give us more solver information also in in the output file and uh, then for d3 plot we set the output frequency to 0 0.1 next we go up one step and uh, click on icfd solution then we set the end time to one second and uh, we, we unselect the automatic time stepping and instead prescribe a time step of 0 0.1 second. Now we are ready with the simulation setup. So now we can right click on ICFD solution and export the setup as a keyword file. Uh, you can save the file as, for example, main.k. Now everything is ready and we can run the simulation using for example LS run. So here I have run the simulation with LS run and opened the D3 plot file with LS prepost. And uh, if we now unmark the shell group, so only the solid group is active, now we can, uh, can see the fluid cells here. And, uh, if we highlight this uh, solid in in the objects window then we can uh, change color by here to fluid pressure and if we go to the animate window here and change to the last state we can see the pressure drop along the pipe from the inlet to the outlet to look at uh, the velocity profile in the pipe 
you can right click on solid here and choose uh, section. If we then unselect solid here, uh, then only the section plane is active. And if we now change color by to fluid velocity, then we can see the velocity profile in the pipe. And it of course follows the expected pattern. We have a, a constant prescribed velocity at the inlet, but then uh, quite soon the expected parabolic profile develops further down the pipe. So in uh, this webinar we have performed an ICFD simulation using the Solution Explorer in LS Prepost. And uh, as we have seen, this makes the simulation setup uh, a little bit easier and more intuitive compared to using the conventional keyword-based setup. Uh, however, uh, we still create uh, the geometry and the mesh in, in the same way as before. And uh, if you have any questions or comments on this webinar, you are welcome to contact me at uh, erik.svenning at dynamore.se. And by that, I thank you for your attention and see you next time. Goodbye.